Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media. So it is once again the first Tuesday of a brand new month, and we are already in the month of November, which is just insane. And I thought October was a big month for physical media, and frankly, it was. I have a big old stack over there waiting to share with you guys, but for November, it's also a pretty darn good month. So let's not waste any time at all. We're actually going to talk about my top 10 most anticipated releases for the month of November. Because we are doing our top 10 this month, I'm not going to do any honorable mentions. So let's just get into number 10. I do have my phone here to reference as we work through this. So Coming in at number 10 this month is a horror film from 2024, Speak No Evil. This is coming from Universal Studios on November 19th, and there's no 4K for this one. This is just a Blu-ray release. Now, I will mention, if you're patient, you might hold off on this one. We may see a 4K down the road. Not a guarantee, obviously, but we've been seeing that a lot with horror movies recently. They're just getting a Blu-ray release, and then whatever, six, 12 months later, they finally show up on 4K. So that might be the case here, but we will see. So this is a film that I really hoped to see in theaters, but for whatever reason, the second half of the year here just got super busy and I've only been a couple times over the past few months. So very slowed down for my theater trips the second half of the year, but this just looks like a really interesting horror film. We are following this family who takes their daughter away for this weekend getaway somewhere and the family that they're staying with might have a bit of a dark side to them. And it's uh, led by James McAvoy, who is excellent. So that's one of the main reasons I want to check this one out, just because he's great. So interesting looking film. That's pretty much all I know about it. But the trailer looked really good every time I went to the theaters in like the past few months here. So the disc itself, like I said, just a Blu-ray, no 4K. And there does appear to be some special features, but it's not very detailed on what's included if you look at the back of the box. It notes that we get some behind the scenes featurettes, but that's really about it. It doesn't go into any detail. So I'll be interested to see the reviews on this one once it goes live. Always check blu-ray.com. They do a great job with all their reviews and they often list out all the special features. So I'll probably check that to see if this disc is worth picking up or not. This is one that I do not have pre-ordered, which I can say that for a handful to, uh, that I'm gonna talk about today, but a lot of these I do already have pre-ordered ordered. But this one is currently $22.95 on Amazon if you're interested. And again, all prices are as of filming. So they always vary, but keep that in mind. So this is coming November 19th on Blu-ray, Speak No Evil from 2024. I'm not even sure if I mentioned it, but I am going from my least most anticipated up to counting down to my most anticipated as I typically do. So coming in at number nine is a Criterion Collection release. This is Scarface from 1932 coming on 4K and Blu-ray of course on November 12th. So this is a film that I have never seen, but I've always been interested in because of course it is the original to a film that is now an icon in cinema, right? With Brian De Palma Scarface. So very interested to see how this movie is. This 4K release is a little bit strange, I'll admit, because there is no HDR on this, no Dolby Vision at all on a 4K disc, which is not terribly atypical, I guess, for Criterion. I know the others was the same way, but still looked incredible by all accounts. I've yet to watch my copy, but I've heard great things. And then on the audio side, the only track is an LPCM mono track that's been restored. So I'm sure this is the original track, which is always cool to see, but no upgraded options whatsoever, which will be fine for a lot of people, I'm sure, myself included. So uh, the special features is the other reason I would put this as a little bit more of an oddball release because it doesn't look nearly as stacked as a lot of Criterion titles. Here we get an alternate ending that is from apparently the original censored version of the film, so that's kind of cool to see. There is an interview with Bill Hader and Megan Abbott, an interview with a film scholar about Howard Hawk, and a booklet with an essay from a film critic. So 
Not terribly loaded, but I'm sure everything that's there will be worth watching because it's Criterion, and I don't think I've ever seen a special feature that wasn't worth watching. So, interested in this one, and the reason I'll grab this one in November, on probably on release date, is because of that Barnes & Noble 50% off sale that's going for the entire month of November. I posted a haul video already, so check that out if you've missed it. But this one, I'm, I'm definitely intrigued to see. This is Scarface from 1932, coming from Criterion Collection, and that one is releasing on November 12th. Number eight today is a release from Arrow Video that I was really surprised to hear was coming to 4K from them, but it's an awesome movie. This is from 1998. It's called A Simple Plan. So this is a film that I watched a number of years ago and I was blown away by it. I loved it. I think on Letterboxd, I gave it four and a half stars. We did a Bill Paxton arc on the Cinefessions podcast a number of years ago and that's when I ended up watching it and I loved it. It's a great movie. Uh, this one follows a trio of friends. There's two brothers and one friend. They end up finding, like stumbling upon $4 million in the cockpit of a downed plane. And so they don't see anyone searching for it. So they decide, to hatch this simple plan in order to keep the money. But of course, when that type of money is involved, nothing is going to be simple. This one stars Billy Bob Thornton and Bill Paxton. Uh, Bridget Fonda, I believe, is in this as well. Just an awesome movie. It's directed by Sam Raimi. And I just, I've never really heard anybody talk about this movie over the years. And so, highly recommend this one. I Frankly, I don't, the, the only reason this one isn't higher is just because it's a little more expensive with everything else coming out. November 19th in particular. That's the day this one is releasing, which I think I forgot to say, but uh, that's a stacked day in particular. So I'm probably going to hold off on this one until there is a bit of a sale for Arrow Video, which happens relatively often at Barnes & Noble and Amazon. So we'll see, but I definitely want to grab this one in the collection at some point because I don't own it in any way right now. By the end of the month, chances are you'll probably be seeing it, but we'll see where the month takes us. But anyway, this one is completely stacked, as you would expect from Arrow Video in terms of the special features. On top of that, you are getting Dolby Vision and HDR10 color grading, plus a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 track. On the special features front, you're getting a couple new commentary tracks on this one, actually. Three new interviews with cast and crew, and a bunch of legacy features as well. So, I mean, it's stacked. The release looks awesome. I definitely want to grab this at some point. Maybe it'll be in November. We'll see where the month takes us. But this is currently $31.86 on Amazon. And again, I highly recommend the film if you haven't seen it. It is a film from Sam Raimi that I just don't hear people talk about. So, I love this one. This is A Simple Plan from 1998, coming out on 4K on November 19th from Arrow Video. Number seven it was such a random find for me because I was just looking at grabbing some other items related to this. Number seven today is going to be the Looney Tunes Collector's Choice Volumes 1 through 4. So this is coming from Warner Brothers on Blu-ray on November 26th. So this actually collects all four volumes of the collector's choice from Looney Tunes, which from what I understand is some of their lesser known and more kind of hidden gem cartoon shorts. So I am very intrigued by this. And like I said, just last week, I had volumes one, two, and three in my Amazon cart. And I'm really glad I decided to hold off because volume four also releases this month. But rather than spending like, I think it, that one's $25, I can just spend the $41.95 right now on Amazon, which is MSRP. So that might go down before release day as well. Well, but that's only about $40 and I get volumes one, two, three, and four. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer. This is something I've been interested in and I'm very intrigued to, to, to uh, check it out. The only Looney Tunes related thing I own right now is the, uh, I have it over there, that's why I'm pointing over there, which is weird, but it is the Platinum Collection on Blu-ray. That's an awesome release. So this one looks great too. Unfortunately, there are no special features, but there are over 640 minutes of cartoon shorts on here from Looney Tunes. I mean, that's plenty. For $40, that's a ridiculously good deal. So absolutely getting this one. This is one that I do have pre-ordered. I'm thinking everything else on here today, the top seven, I actually already have pre-ordered. So this is one that I will definitely be grabbing. But yeah, looking forward to checking this one out once it comes in. This is Looney Tunes Collector's Choice, volumes one through four. And this is coming on November 26th on Blu-ray from Warner Brothers.
Number six is one that frankly, I it might end up as a canceled pre-order, but we'll see as it gets closer here. So this is Godzilla Minus One. This is coming out on November 19th on 4K from Toho. So this of course is the latest Godzilla film, which is actually available streaming on Netflix. What's weird about this release is that this is just the standard release of this. On Toho's website, you could find a special edition release of this on 4K, which is a lot better than what the special, the standard release is because it comes with something called Godzilla Minus Color, which is the black and white version of the film, which I think is just really cool to have. On top of that, there are special features on the collector's edition release. Unfortunately, unless you speak Japanese, from my reading, you can't understand them anyway because apparently they are only in Japanese and there are not English subtitles. So once I read that, I decided to skip out on that version because it was notably more expensive just for that extra, you know, minus color edition. It didn't seem it worth it to me. So I ended up pre-ordering this version and I'll probably end up getting it still because I own every other Godzilla film on Blu-ray or 4K. So I'd like to keep that up, but I'll say this does have Dolby Vision and HDR10 plus a Dolby Atmos audio track so it should look and sound great but there are no special features on this whatsoever which I mean kind of makes sense if all of the special features were in Japanese. Frankly I would have loved to them to just transfer those over and put some English subtitles on them but that's not the route they went here at least according to the back of the box there's nothing listed so this is kind of an interesting release it's $30 it is uh, 29 95 to be specific on Amazon right now so not cheap for what is essentially a bare bones release. So, you know, your mileage may vary on this one. This is one that I could end up canceling as the date gets closer, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully it'll be a good movie nonetheless. I've heard great things about it, so I'm sure I'll, I'll enjoy it. I just don't know if I need to spend $30 for it as a bare bones 4K, but that's neither here nor there. So again, this one comes on November 19th, Godzilla minus one hitting 4K from Toho. Speaking of regrettable decisions this month, let's talk about number five. This is Beetlejuice Beetlejuice from 2024, and this is releasing also on November 19th on 4K from Warner Brothers, also getting a Blu-ray release. This is a movie that, frankly, I thought was a little disappointing when I saw it in theaters. My wife and I went to go see it on opening night, and even she was a little disappointed with it, which, like, she's never critical of movies, so... That tells me pretty much everything I need to know there. there. There's an entire subplot to this film that one, goes absolutely nowhere, and two, was completely meaningless. Like, the entire film could have worked in the exact same way without adding that subplot. I just, that part completely boggled my mind why that was even added in there. But, I mean, that said, I did laugh a number of times throughout the film. It's not a bad movie by any stretch. And frankly, I'm a, a Jenna Ortega stan anyway, so you know I'm going to enjoy watching through this again. But really why I grabbed this is because I fell for this stupid steelbook gimmick. It is a glow-in-the-dark steelbook, and I mean, that just sounds awesome. It looks really cool. So that's why I decided to pre-order this one, and I did go the steelbook route. And I mean, I have the original Beetlejuice in my collection, so of course I'm going to get this one at some point. But yeah, that's why I grabbed this one. I don't overly recommend the film, but if you're a huge fan of Beetlejuice, you might get a kick out of it, even though it was a little bit lackluster from what I was hoping it was going to be. Uh, I will say the 4K on this does have Dolby Vision and HDR10, plus a Dolby Atmos audio track, which is great to see. On the uh, special features front, it's li listed on the back of the box. It is advertising over two hours of additional bonus material. I'm afraid that might be a little uh, inflated because one of the uh, special features that they're advertising is a commentary track. So, I mean, that's the full length of the movie, but it also advertises six additional featurettes plus a behind the scenes making of. So, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be worth owning on physical media because of those special features. Maybe they'll kind of shed some light on why that whole subplot was added in there but I don't, I'm not holding my breath. Like, I doubt they'll say anything about that. But anyway, this one for the Steelbook is $34.95 on Amazon. Again, that's the route I went, but you can get the standard edition on 4K for $29.95. So this is Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice from 2024 coming out on 4K on November 19th.
Number four, I am really excited about, and I've already fully paid for this one because it is actually a Region B release. This is the Blair Witch Project from 1999 coming to Blu-ray from Second Sight. So it's disappointing that this isn't a 4K release, but I mean, it's the Blair Witch Project. It probably looks just as good on VHS as it's gonna look on Blu-ray, which I do own the standard Blu-ray behind me, but Second Sight is an excellent company. I've, I've watched a number of their films recently that they've released. All of them look great and the special features are loaded. So that's why I decided to pick up this one and I pre-ordered this probably a month or two ago now. And so it's already paid for, so I'm definitely getting this one when it comes out. This one releases on November 11th, according to Diabolic DVD website. So that's where I picked this one up was Diabolic DVD. You can also check Orbit DVD. Unfortunately, I think both of them are currently sold out, but I'm sure it'll come back in stock at some point. Now, really the, the reason I bought this, because like I said, I have the Blu-ray behind me, at least I think I do anyway. I do. I have the standard Blu-ray right here, but the reason I'm grabbing the second site release is because of the new special features, including a feature length documentary on the film. Like, that's awesome. I love The Blair Witch Project. It's one of those like horror movies that, that I always point to as being a reason I love something. And that's the reason I love found footage horror films. It's just such a great movie. And so that's why I wanted to pick this one up. On top of that, there are additional new special features included here. So not only do you get a new restoration from the high eight and 16 millimeter film elements that was supervised by the producers and directors, but you're also getting the original theatrical cut and the festival cut, which I don't think I've ever seen. So super interested to see what that's gonna be. On top of that, you get a new director and producer commentary track. Plus, uh, if you were to order the limited edition, it also comes with a 184 page hardcover book Heather's journal and uh, like three postcards or something, art cards, I think they call them. So I decided not to go that route because it was notably more expensive, but I wanted that new documentary. So I went with the cheaper version, just like the standard edition release of this from Second Sight. So if you want the full limited edition, Diabolic DVD had the best price that I saw and that was $51.99. You have to add shipping on top of that, which is usually about five or $6 from Diabolic. But if you want just the standard edition, that one is only $20. $27.99 from Diabolic DVD. So definitely check. They might come back in stock before they are released or even after release. But yeah, very interested to check out the new documentary on this. Plus it has all of the legacy bonus features that are included on this release too. So very happy that I get to rewatch this one in the coming months. So that is the Blair Witch Project coming from Second Sight on Blu-ray. I totally forgot to mention this. I should edit this and put it at the start here, but this is a Region B release. This is not going to be region free according to Diabolic's website. So if you don't have a region free player, you're gonna to want to avoid this one because you won't be able to play it on your American Blu-ray player. So please keep that in mind. I should have said that right at the front. I totally forgot, but yes, a region B release only according to the website. So keep that in mind. Of course, I'll review it. I'll check it when it comes out uh, just to make sure, but I, from everything I'm reading, it's only a region B release. So keep that in mind. Anyway. That comes out on November 11th and check Diabolic DVD or Orbit DVD for that one. So let's move over to another boutique label, this time Scream Factory for number three. This is Escape from New York from 1981, and this one is hitting 4K on November 5th. So the day this video goes live, hopefully my copy actually gets here. It's scheduled to arrive today, but God only knows how Amazon has been lately. Anytime there's a steelbook involved, it always takes an extra week or two to come in for whatever reason. But hopefully this one will actually come in time. But anyway, the reason I'm grabbing this one on 4K is because one, I don't own it on any format right now, which is ridiculous because it's a good movie. Uh, I didn't end up grabbing the Scream Factory Blu-ray release, which Typically, if I own the Scream Factory Blu-ray, I won't upgrade to the Scream Factory 4K. That's just typically what I do. But this case, I don't own it, so I'm definitely excited to get this one. And check out this steelbook. This thing is stunning. I love this steelbook. So this is the main reason I had to pre-order this one, which I pre-ordered like two months ago, I think, like quite a long time ago. So very excited to get this one in. Not only do you get this really cool looking steelbook, but the 4K itself is uh, gonna have Dolby Vision and HDR10 color grading, plus a Dolby Atmos audio track on there. Now, no new special features on this, but as someone who doesn't own it already, this thing is absolutely 
absolutely loaded. There is a third disc in this release that is a Blu-ray that is just the special features. Now, I'm sure it's the exact same Blu-ray disc that was on their original Blu-ray release, but either way, I don't have it, so I'm very excited about this one. Uh, there are seven featurettes and interviews on here, plus deleted scenes with a commentary track and more. So this thing is loaded with new, with uh, existing special features, but they'll all be new to me. So very excited about this one. This is currently $35.99 on Amazon for the Steelbook release. I'm sure there's a standard release, but I didn't even look that up. I apologize, but I'm sure that's out there, so you can definitely find that if you're looking. But anyway, this one is Escape from New York from 1981, coming out today, November 5th, from Scream Factory on 4K. Speaking of steelbooks, number two is The Terminator from 1984. This is coming to 4K, finally, on November 19th. Now, for my money... Terminator is the better film out of Terminator and Terminator 2. I just like the movie more. I don't know why that is exactly. I can't articulate it right now, but I just really like Terminator and I thought Terminator 2 was good, but not quite at the same level for me. So there was no chance I wasn't getting this one. Now, I know that the James Cameron 4K releases are some of the most divisive releases whenever they come out, especially earlier this year with Abyss, True Lies, and Aliens. But honestly, I loved the Aliens 4K release. So take it for what it is. I thought it looked awesome. So I am super excited about this Terminator release coming to 4K. Hopefully it'll look, you know, good. I know True Lies, I think, was kind of the worst of the bunch from everything I was reading, uh, where Aliens kind of fell in the, in the middle, and then Abyss was genuinely con generally considered the best of the bunch, but for my money, I thought Aliens looked great. But anyway, Terminator's coming, and I can't wait to check this out. I am grabbing the Steelbook release of this one, which actually, unfortunately, is currently sold out on Amazon, at least as of filming. Might be live again by the time this one goes up, but in terms of the 4K disc itself, this is also getting a Dolby Vision and HD. 10 color grade plus a Dolby Atmos audio track. Now on the special features front, it doesn't appear to have anything new, but there are some special features on here. You get three legacy featurettes plus seven deleted scenes. So fortunately it's not bare bones, which is really good to see. Now the Steelbook, like I said earlier, I believe that one is currently unavailable. I ended up paying $29.99 for that one on Amazon when that came out or when it, the pre-order went live, but you can grab the standard slipcover release for $27 and 19 cents right now on Amazon. So very excited to get this one. Another one that'll probably be delayed because it's Amazon for me anyway. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to this. This is November 19th. The Terminator hits 4K from Warner Brothers. Very interested to check out this transfer. So coming in at number one this month is my most anticipated release going back to Scream Factory. Coming out on November 26th, we have Hush from 2016. So this is hitting 4K, actually it's hitting physical media for the very first time ever, which is awesome to see. This was a Netflix film back in 2016 and that's how I first watched it. That's how anybody watched it, I guess, back in the day. Uh, but this one is finally getting a home media release. So there was no doubt I was grabbing this one. Now this is really interesting because it's a home invasion film, which I'm a huge fan of, but it does it a little bit unique where our main character is deaf. And so she's this deaf character who's trying to survive this tormentor who doesn't even use like a knife or anything. If I'm remembering right, he uses like a bow and arrow setup. Like it's very weird, but it's a really good movie from what I recall. So cannot wait to own this one on the physical format finally. So what's really interesting about this release is that they're releasing the new Shush Cut, it's called. And so I guess it's just the, the movie, but a different cut of it by the director. And on top of that, which is actually kind of a little bit weird, is that the only audio option is this new Shush Cut remix. So I don't know why they don't have the original audio on there as well, but... From what I recall, there's not a whole heck of a lot of dialogue in this one anyway. So yeah, I don't think that's going to be too big of an issue. So you're very excited about this. What's really cool. So you also get the Dolby Vision and HDR10 color grade. Uh, and I already talked about the audio option, which is the Shush Cut audio mix. But the special features are absolutely loaded for this release, which is so cool to see on something that's getting its first home media release. So in addition to the Shush Cut, you also get the standard original release of this as well. 
but we also get two new audio commentary tracks, a picture-in-picture -picture video commentary with the director and some of the cast. That sounds interesting. Plus eight new interviews with the cast and crew. So Scream Factory has really gone all out for this one, which is exactly what you want to see on something that's finally getting its home media debut this many years down. Hopefully we'll get something with Barbarian, like from Scream Factory down the line, which frankly, I thought was a great movie until the end. The ending kind of killed the whole movie for me, but still, I, people like that movie. They should have the option to own it on physical media, and I'd probably revisit it if given the opportunity. But anyway, I'm sidetracking now. So this is Hush coming from Scream Factory, and this one is releasing on 4K on November 26th, and that is going to be my most anticipated release for November. So before I wrap things up, I do want to talk about the monthly cost. And frankly, I thought the month of October would have been the most expensive month of the year, but it turns out that November's cost is a little bit higher. Now, let me caveat that by saying that I'm including everything I've talked about today. So all 10 films I've talked about today and the total cost is how I bought the movie. So Steelbook versus standard release or whatever. Now, I don't have all of these pre-ordered. The seven I do have, there might be one or two that I end up canceling before they come out, but chances are you'll probably see all seven, frankly, probably eight of these 10 at least by the time this month ends in my uh, haul video at the end of the month, but we'll see. So anyway, the total cost, if I were to pick up everything at its current cost right now on Amazon, would be $314.41. So it's ridiculous how expensive the month is because, of course, that doesn't include the Criterion Collection sale that's going on right now, which I've already spent some money on. Plus, it includes none of the Black Friday releases that I'm sure are going to be coming, you know, discounted here as the month continues. So keep that in mind. It's going to be an expensive month, which is why one or two, maybe even three of these might have to have their pre-order canceled. Just depends on what the Black Friday sales are going to look like. Now, obviously, I'm someone who has, what, like over 7,000 movies in my physical media collection now, so finding things on Black Friday that I don't already have is becoming more and more difficult, as I'm sure some of you can relate to, so maybe I won't be grabbing a ton from Black Friday sales, but we will see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it, and I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. What are you most looking forward to that's coming out this month? What do you have pre-ordered? What are you for sure grabbing day one? What are you waiting for a sale on? I would love to hear what your thoughts are on that and anything else down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for leaving comments that really does help the channel and thanks for watching all the way to the end here that I also appreciate a lot so with that said guys before I let you go I just want to encourage you all to consume some media today thanks again for watching and I will catch you all next time <laughs>